Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. At the Future Armored Vehicles Central and Eastern Europe Conference, the Slovak Ministry of Defense announced its ambitious plan to acquire 104 new main battle tanks. Held from May 13th to 14th, the conference provided a platform for Slovakia to reveal its intentions, sparking considerable interest and speculation among defense contractors eager to secure this lucrative contract. Slovakia's armored forces currently operate two types of main battle tanks, the Soviet-era T-72M1 and the modern Leopard 2A4. The T-72M1, which has been the backbone of Slovakia's tank fleet, was slated for various upgrades over the years. However, modernization plans have been shelved due to diminishing combat capabilities and maintainability issues. Captain Jakub Mersek from the Slovak Ministry of Defense's Modernization Department confirmed that the T-72M1S would be phased out around 2030, aligning with the arrival of the new tanks. In contrast, Slovakia's fleet also includes 15 Leopard 2A4 tanks acquired from Germany through the Ringtosh program, an exchange that saw Slovakia transferring 30 BVP-1 infantry fighting vehicles to Ukraine. While the Leopard 2A4S are significantly more advanced than the T-72M1S, they face potential long-term maintenance challenges due to limited spare parts. According to NATO standards, these tanks are gradually becoming obsolete, relegated primarily to support roles or training purposes. Nonetheless, they represent a unified platform that both Slovakia and the Czech Republic utilize, reflecting a regional trend toward standardizing military equipment, such as the CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles. Slovakia's decision to acquire new main battle tanks opens up several scenarios, each with distinct advantages and challenges. Here, we explore three primary contenders that could shape the future of Slovak armored capabilities. Scenario 1, American M1A2 Abrams. Opting for the American M1A2 Abrams presents several strategic benefits. Immediate availability and interoperability with neighboring NATO allies, Romania and Poland, make the Abrams a compelling choice. The M1A2 Abrams, a third-generation main battle tank, is renowned for its advanced features, including a 120mm smoothbore gun, computerized fire control system, and advanced composite armor. Weighing around 68 tons, it offers high mobility and enhanced battlefield protection, making it a formidable asset for Slovakia's defense forces. Scenario 2, South Korean K2 Black Panther. The K2 Black Panther, developed by Hyundai Rotom, offers a modern and cost-effective alternative. With rapid delivery capabilities and a potentially lower price tag, the K2 is attractive for Slovakia's budget-conscious procurement strategy. Poland's recent decision to adopt the K2 further strengthens this option. The K2 Black Panther features a 120mm smoothbore gun with an automatic loader, capable of firing up to 10 rounds per minute. Its advanced technologies, including independent suspension systems and millimeter band radar, enhance maneuverability and threat detection. Powered by a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine, the K2 can achieve speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads. Scenario 3, German Leopard 2A7. The Leopard 2A7, a new generation main battle tank from Krausmaffe Wegmann, KMW, represents a premium option with several strategic advantages. Although the cost may be higher, Slovakia's strong ties with Germany could facilitate deeper defense cooperation. The Leopard 2A7, which entered service in 2014, boasts significant enhancements over its predecessors. It features improved protection, a digital battlefield management system, and increased capabilities for both high- and low-intensity conflicts. Equipped with a 120mm smoothbore gun and advanced composite armor, the Leopard 2A7 can reach a maximum speed of 72 km per hour with a range of 450 km. As Slovakia evaluates these options, the decision will likely hinge on a combination of cost, strategic alliances, and long-term operational requirements. The choice of tank will significantly influence Slovakia's defense posture and its integration with NATO allies. The defense industry keenly anticipates Slovakia's final decision, which could potentially include an unexpected contender. Regardless of the outcome, Slovakia's commitment to modernizing its armored forces underscores its strategic emphasis on enhancing national and regional security. In the coming months, defense contractors will undoubtedly intensify their efforts to secure this significant contract, each presenting their unique value propositions. Slovakia's decision will be a critical step in shaping the future capabilities of its armored forces and reinforcing its role within the broader NATO alliance. That's all for now. See you later.